right. You know, my parental rights are not being respected. School districts are not listening to us. And, you know, we're a small county in Hill Country, Texas. And I moved here from Harris County in Houston to get away from this stuff. And mm. I come here and it's here. Um, and that we're also fighting the same thing. And I am so thankful that uh, Ron DeSantis is exposing advanced placement program. The AP program has been woke for a while. There have been concerns with them already. And this agenda is being infiltrated into rural America mm. because that's the only voting block that liberals do not have. Yep, exactly. And that's why they want to brainwash them. Like for instance, I just heard of a girl wanting to be a cat near my hometown in Ohio. And she's like suing her parents and the school so she can be a cat. How many times has this been debunked? Ugh. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who I'm sure is aware of the fact that denying access to an advanced placement African American studies elective course taught to 17 and 18 year olds preparing for college is indoctrination, must be unaware to the irony that is claiming Florida is the education state. What are one of, what's one of the lessons about queer theory? Now, who would say that an important part of black history is queer theory? That is somebody pushing an agenda on our kids. And so when you look to see they have stuff about intersectionality, abolishing prisons, that's a political agenda. Y'all wanna know what is an agenda? Prisons, especially private ones with a profit motive to fill them. I'm glad there's a framework available to help me understand the racial implications of such an institution. Now, Manny Diaz Jr., the education commissioner of Florida, posted this tweet, which included this infographic, concerns found within college boards submitted AP African American Studies course, making the mistake of showing us the dope classes these kids would be missing out on. I guess they believe that high schoolers who read Bell Hooks and Kimberly Crenshaw, for instance, don't have the critical skills to disagree if they want. But these bands are reaching well beyond critical race theory because the Ron DeSantis's of the world don't know what CRT is or doesn't think we know. Conservatives are also trying to do away with diversity, equity, and inclusion, social and emotional learning, in addition to queer studies. Y'all, y'all, I am so excited. Because while we are talking about the AP African American Studies class that was banned in Florida, NBC got a hold of the actual curriculum. And I have been waiting to get my hands on it. So when you go to NBC.com, go to this article. Scroll down and click the AP African American Studies course material. All 79 pages are here. It talks about how it is taught and what is being taught. But here's my favorite section, the appendix. Because it gives textbooks that are being used in the classroom. As well as common texts like speeches, essays, poetry, and regular books. And what do you know? There's even talk about the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendments, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Fugitive Slave Acts, and there are also films included. This is why it's important to go digging yourself. Ron DeSantis is a liar. You know what? I would actually like my kids to learn CRT. I've said it before, but they're in sixth grade and fourth grade right now, and there's no way they would be able to understand a curriculum designed for grad school and law school students. Augmenting or changing it to fit their little minds wouldn't be CRT at all. Watered down or diet versions of that something ceases to be that thing at some point, like Ron DeSantis trying to be Trump light. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you haven't seen my video called Cop Instantly Regrets Confronting This TikToker, then you should watch it. Click that link in the description and the Jeff Wiggins hashtag for more of my content.